know, something neat with this weather we've been having, Claire, the sunsets have been spectacular. They really have been absolutely beautiful. And I want to share this photo from our own uh, COIN weather team member, Steve Pierce. Oh, beautiful. He's, I know, it's great. It's out at Lincoln City. He took this and sent this to me and said, look how awesome it is. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy this picture. Now, I want to talk about the sunsets. They have been absolutely beautiful. I mean, we get great sunsets here in Portland, but things have been a little bit different lately. Notice there's a small haze in the air and we get these bright red and orange sunsets. Well, that's not just due to our area. It's been due to the thin layer of smoke. It's coming from the California wildfires. Now, the reason for this, it's intensified right now because we have this low pressure sitting off the coast. Well, it has this southerly flow, sweeps down, picks up the smoke, and carries it aloft. So, especially if you're in the East Willamette Valley and also the Cascades and the Cascade foothills, you're really going to be seeing that intensify. But I just thought that was a bit interesting. So, you might be noticing that the next few nights. So, definitely snap a photo and send it to me. Okay, let's talk temperatures. 84 degrees this afternoon. It was a warm one around the area. Normal temperatures right around 81. Currently, our afternoon highs around PDX were 84, 85 for Vancouver, 92 degrees for the Dallas, 90 in Redmond, upper 60s towards Tillamook and Astoria. I want to take you out to Seaside now. Check this out. An awesome bonfire going on along the coast. There's a few of them I've been watching, so people are out there enjoying the temperatures. Not too bad, especially through the seaside area. A story 54 degrees, 52 in Tillamook, upper 60s for Portland and Vancouver, still in the upper 70s for the Dalles. Winds have really calmed down this evening, around 7 miles per hour through Portland, calm along the coast, still a bit breezy through the Dalles. We'll see winds again tomorrow. Still a bit breezy towards Hillsborough and Forest Grove this evening, and especially around PDX and Vancouver, but everything else should really continue to calm. So, looking ahead, warm and sunny weather again for tomorrow. Things start to change as we see that low pressure system again off the coast, sliding in, bringing us cooler temperatures, more clouds, and possible drizzle along the coast maybe into the valley, still questionable there, and warming for the weekend with still no major rain in the forecast besides possible drizzle. So here's the temperature trend. We're going to cool down for Wednesday and Thursday, warm right back up for Friday. Saturday and Sunday are going to be above seasonal average. Doppler radar looking clear today, and as we head into this evening, not a lot's going on. Pretty clear skies. We'll wake up to clear skies tomorrow. But I want to move you through this. So tomorrow morning, a few clouds, but here starts to come the moisture moving closer to our area. Wednesday evening into Wednesday night, overnight into Thursday morning, that's when we can start to see some of the drizzle. And then it really starts to clear out through Thursday afternoon. So for tomorrow morning and tonight, mid 50s, clear skies continue. Out along the eastern part of the state tomorrow, still pretty warm in the 90s, a little bit cooler, low 80s for Salem in the 60s out at the coast. Next seven days are looking good. Besides a little bit of cooler temperatures for Thursday, we're really going to warm up for the weekend with plenty of sunshine. God, that's great. Yeah, just it's fantastic. Good. Well, still ahead.